Uh, it's good, man. You know, it's one step closer to our goal, and uh, you know, it's, uh, it's just the first step of the journey. So, obviously, to get to where we want to go, you have to keep advancing and keep winning. And um, you know, we were able to, to do that in five. And you know, now we're looking looking ahead to uh, see what we got in the second round. How valuable is it to get it done in five? Yeah, it's very valuable. I think, um, especially anytime you can get some extra days of rest. Uh, guys a little banged up. Kyle, you know, got a little banged up tonight. Obviously, guys have been dealing with things all year. So um, to be able to get it done as quickly as possible is always the goal to give yourself a couple extra days of preparation and, um, you know, treatment and therapy. So um, it's, that, was, that was a big sticking point for us, and we wanted to go out there and take care of business. What does it say about the team's mentality that you came out to that hot start and didn't take your foot off the gas pedal? It's just what you want to see. It's what you want to see this time of year, that killer instinct, that killer mentality, just go out there and get it done. And um, I think Kyle kind of set the tone early with every nine in a row. And, uh, you know, Kawhi and, and all the starting five, they really came out and, uh, you know, put put their foot on the guys' necks and just trying to give them no signs of hope and um, just just not let anything loose and you know no no freedom out there. So they, those guys did a good job coming out early and setting the tone for the rest of the game. Yesterday, Nick mentioned game one is sort of the obvious turning point. He said that you guys as a team were ticked off with how things went, and, and sort of said at that point that you weren't going to let that happen again. How did that change things for you guys in this series? Uh, it probably just woke us up a little bit, right? I mean, there's a million things we could have done better to win that game. Those guys played good. We didn't. And, um, you know, we just we made a few small adjustments, but we just kind of ramped it up a little bit. And um, you never want to give up a game to do that, but I think that kind of woke us up for the rest of the playoffs to, to understand what we got to go out there and do. So it was, a, it was a big turning point for us to come out and, and, and do what we need to do the rest of the four games. Are you starting to see your potential about how good this team can be? Yeah, I think we've shown it. I think we've shown a little bit in this series the, uh, where we can be, where we need to get better. Um, but the consistent defensive intensity the last four games has been impressive. Even in game one, as bad as we played, um, we still only scored 104 points. So as long as we keep that, that defensive mind focused, um, we got enough guys to make plays on the offensive end. Following up on that, is that, at both ends, is this one of the best stretches you've seen from the team, or do you think there's a lot more to come? Yeah, there's, there's more to come. We haven't played perfect, and um, you know we're striving to be better. So there's a lot of stuff that we can still continue to do better, um, and we'll look at the film this week and see where we can grow. And, and it's going to be a completely different series, you know, no matter who we play in terms of matchups and, and the way those things go. So we've got to flush this one. It's good to get it done, and, and now we've got to focus on the next goal. What type of challenge do the Sixers present? Uh, they got a lot. They got a lot of guys. They got a lot of talent. Um, they they're, big. they're big. They're strong. Yeah, Danny said they haven't won. Um, so, okay. I'm with you on that one. I didn't I didn't know that. But, uh, yeah, if we play the Sixers, they bring a lot of, uh, to the table. And, um, you know, we'll see we'll see how that pans out. But uh, we got a couple of days to get prepared, and, and we'll be ready. I think – I don't think the whole point was to make a statement. Obviously, you want to make a statement every game you come out. But um, it was – the whole purpose of us of getting back on track was also just get better, um, and obviously win games at the same time. Uh, be focused, be locked in uh, more for consistent 48 minutes. I think we did a better job of that, and it shouldn't take you know, uh, you know, game one loss for us to, to you know, have that kick into gear. So, you know, hopefully next series we'll be taking a little more serious from the jump and be locked in and have the same intensity fire um, from the start. Are you starting to see the potential of this team, how, and how exciting is that? We've been seeing it all season, you know, with Spurs. Um, and I think now we kind of get our little rhythm with our rotations, and um, uh, hopefully it continues to build. Um, but yeah, we do see the potential. We are excited about it. Obviously, it's different with different series, different games. Um, so hopefully it carries over. But we know it's going to be a totally different matchup for us. And you know, the, the biggest key is just to continue to bring that intensity, that energy every night. What was the message in here after that game one? I know you said you should come to that, but say again. What was the message in here after game one that seemed to stick? Um, we, we just knew that um, we had to lock in on certain guys and not let you know certain things get away from us. Also, offensively, um, we didn't move it as well as we normally would, but defensively, you know, we could have played a lot better and took away a lot more things from them. So, um, you know, we wanted to focus on that, you know, sprint back and rebounds and turn the ball over less. And instead, offensively, just you know, be more disciplined, more focused. Um, sharper, so where we get some easy ones, and I think we did a, a great job of that throughout the, the rest of the series. Do I, have, do I have your permission now? Oh, they won. Okay, you go ahead. You go. Well, it's not. It's three minutes. minutes? No, you don't. Oh, you could ask. Go ahead. What type of challenge does the Sixers present? <laughs> if Philly wins, um, you know they have a lot of talent, so um, they're a lot of big men. They're very deep, um, so it's going to be a, a fun series. Um, so they have you know ch challenges all across the board. We have to come in to 
very focused from the start uh, to finish, know our matchups, and, and you know know their personnel, um, and, and hopefully take away a lot of their strengths, which is or a lot of the yeah, and make them play to their weaknesses, which is, aren't many. So um, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll figure it out when we look at film and figure out what we, what we want to do uh, to guard them. Obviously, the Magic are way different than the Sixers, mm -hmm. but they had the least playoff experience, and you guys have among the most. How much do you lean on that as you move forward here, particularly against Philadelphia? Um, we lean on it in every series, you know, regardless of because you know, it's our team. Our team is more experienced. And also against Philly, they have some young guys, too. Some of those guys have some pretty good playoff experience. But uh, I think we have more. So whatever we can use to our advantage to help us get an edge, um, we're going to use, um, particularly whether it's experience or, you know, size, quickness, speed. But um, I think experience is on our side. But we have to, you know, use that experience to hopefully outsmart them a little bit. Is this the best you've seen Kawhi play? Uh, yeah, uh, a, a complete floor game, balanced floor game where he's not forcing it. Um, obviously, he can score the ball. Everybody knows he can do that. But when they're double teaming and throwing different things at him, he's able to read the defense and pick them apart and, and instead of read the, you know, have a great floor game with finding guys. Um, you know, he's taking his game and his team to another level. Um, we wanted to come out and um, be relentless for 48 minutes. Um, we knew that they were come out and play hard. Um, you know, we wanted to not give them any life. And uh, I'm glad that we were able to come out and put a complete game together for the full 48. Nick was talking yesterday about sort of the game one being the turning point of the series. He, he said you guys were ticked off and didn't want to let that happen again. How do you like that game and what happened? Yeah, I, feel, I felt like uh, game one, we let, we let it uh, slip out our hands. You know, I think uh, there's a lot of things that we could have controlled, and they, they showed that in film. Um, Nick talked to us about it, and um, we didn't want to let that happen. You know, we knew we had to come out there and play a uh, full 48 minute games for the rest of the series, and we were able to do that. Um, we knew that going to Orlando, we were going to need uh, to get one, um, but we were hungry to get two. Um, so we just had a, a good uh, all around focus and effort um, after game one. Job that. Uh Mark and Serge and Kucevic taking their all-star out of it. We'll give them a shot. Uh, it, was a, it was a key point, you know, uh, to this series, uh, making it difficult for him, making it tough for him. Um, you know, he's one of the heads of the Snakes, and um, we wanted to make it difficult for him the whole time. And uh, I thought Mark and uh, Serge did a great job. Even uh, Pascal, when they switched on him, why when he was coming over for help side, uh, made it really difficult for him to get going um, early on. And they had to revert to some other, other players. And uh, we, we just followed the game plan to a T, and we were able to close out the series. You know, after game one, we, you know, we kind of, Understood uh, you know, what kind of level defensively we need to play, um, and uh, in every game I think we improved in different areas, uh, and we kept improving, which you know that's that's a great sign. What was it about Game One that was sort of a turning point in the series? The coach was saying yesterday that that was sort of the point where you guys said, okay, you can't, you can't let that happen. Anymore. Well, yeah, defensively, defensively I think you know we we allowed them um, a lot of movement, a lot of freedom. Um, and, and obviously they're a talented team and, and they have a, you know, great players and, and know how to play and, 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 and great make decisions and once you, you know, play and, and trade, you know, punches with the team, you might lose. Mark, do you feel like now that you've played more than a dozen games together with this starting five group, you've kind of figured out your identity and figured out all the chemistry? And, and, and continue to grow, and continue to learn. To me, it's a, a continuous learning process, play, playing with the guys. Um, you know, I think that game one was was a was a perfect example. At the end of the game, um, that shot from uh, DJ at the top of the key. You know, if, if you play with those guys long enough and you're in that situation long enough, you know what's ex expected and and you know what the coverage would be, and, and and those things don't happen. So, to me, always you know, even through tough times or things that are, you know don't go well, it's, you can always learn a lot of uh, things, and uh, even you know, good or bad, you you gotta always learn. Well, if you're saying you can still figure out more, and how exciting is it for what is to come for this team? Correct. It's, you know, it's, it's very exciting, and, and you know that you still have a lot of room to grow, and, and, and you can see it, and you can feel it. Um, but it comes through working and trusting each other and communicating and putting yourself out there for your teammates. Nick uh, said this was maybe the best he's ever seen Kyle play over a series. This is your first series playing with him. What did you learn about him? I love, I love his mindset. I love his competitive mindset in, in both ends of the floor. Um, you know, even game one, everyone, every, everyone, every outside of here, um, obviously, I think overreacted a little bit. But you know, he just the play that he is competed. Um, you know, we all took it personal, and uh, 
and, uh, and took over I think a little bit and, and show how well we, we need to play uh, and not not only how we can play how you know we show one another how aggressive we need to play in order to you know impose our will defensively Mark what was the key for you and Serge in keeping Vucevic contained in the series um, defensively I think our physicality I think uh, you know staying um, on him um, I think our you know, it's, I think it's the first time that you know in, that I've been a team that we double team uh, a big, and uh, and that was new for me uh, on the cuts. Uh, so I'm sure that that you know he didn't like that as much. Uh, uh, we took it off afterwards, but uh, you know it, it gets you off your rhythm. Um, he's a great player. You try to make as tough as possible every possession and make him earn um, every shot that he takes. Looks Good. like you're going to have Philadelphia in round two. What's yeah. the challenge of going up against a guy like Joel Embiid? I'm going to start, you know, watching him obviously tonight and, uh, and 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 closely and understanding what, you know, how they're trying to get the ball, where he's trying to get. I mean, all the things that you know, how you prepare for a playoff game and and uh, get ready for game one. I think our focus um, was to try to get out and and put a stamp on the game from the defensive end and I think we did that and um, I think that was a good sign right that we were ready to go we were serious uh, we knew how hard we had to play to beat this team and um, obviously got off to a fantastic start Scott Nick Scott Stinson National Post um, Kawhi had a big game two a big game four and he was great again tonight I mean I guess this is why you rested him all that time <laughs> Um, I don't know about that, but we were, we were doing what we thought we um, needed to do. And again, I just think that um, he's he's uh, been through this before, the playoffs, and and, and made deep runs, obviously, right? Um, I just think that uh, he <clears throat> he relishes this time of year, and I think it, it shows, right? He, he just um, playing strong, playing fast, playing defense. Um, you know, he's a great two-way player, and he's a, he's a great player in this league. Eric, thank you. Eric Curry in The Athletic. Uh, obviously, the series started with a lot of talk about Kyle. Uh, I don't know what his plus-minus was over the last four games, but it was a lot. How do you assess how he set the tone for you guys, uh, especially after that game one loss? He was amazing in this series. Um, I don't know how many charges he ended up taking, but... He, he was blocking out, taking charges, pushing the ball, getting into the paint, um, you know, stroke, stroke just enough threes. Uh, he was, I don't know, maybe as, maybe as good as I've ever seen him in this series. Joseph? Joseph Cachar the score. Nick, after game one, you guys trailed for a total of five and a half minutes the rest of the series. Was there, did you get a sense after that of a, a different type of focus with the team? Because they're really... You know, other than, I guess, a bit in the second half of game three, there didn't seem to be any lulls for the next four games. Well, I think, um, you know, for some reason we weren't quite ready to go. You know, I, I just didn't have them ready to go for game one. Um, but as you mentioned, in game two, I think we came out with a defensive effort sustained over the course of the game that we hadn't seen from this team. And I think the, the feeling after that game was if we play defense like that from here on out, we should be able to control this series each, each game. And I think that's pretty much what we did. We had a little bit of a, you know, some adversity. I can't remember which game it was now, but, you know, it was a little, some, a little adversity. I think the first game down in Orlando. Um, but we overcame it, some foul trouble and some other stuff. I can't really remember either. But um, the effort was still there, even though it was a closer game. And then, and then again, we just set the tone so, so good with our defensive effort and our toughness and our mindset. Again, and I think that's what you're trying to do in a series. You're trying to impose your will on the, in the series. And I think we did that in game two, even though it was only 1-1 at the time. Last call. Nick over here, Ian Harrison, Associated Press. Uh, I know the other game is not decided yet, but it looks like it's going one way. Just uh, some thoughts looking ahead to what you might see from Philadelphia in the second round. Well, um, it's been a while since we've seen them, but uh, obviously this is a team with tremendous size, right? Starting right off the bat with Embiid inside, but they're big. They're big all over. You know, they got a they got a 
the biggest center in the league and maybe the biggest point guard in the league in Simmons. So it presents some some matchup issues because of that. Um, you know, I think I think again we've got our hands full. You know, it's a good thing. You know, again we've got two two good defensive centers. It's going to be a two man job on Embiid. I think we'll have to um, be ready for a lot of possible options scheme wise against him. And then you know you got we haven't seen him with Harris yet, so that'll be interesting to see how we match up there. And um, um, you know, Jimmy Butler's a very good player this time of year, and then they run a lot of stuff for Reddick. So there's a there's a I think two similar teams, guys, teams that have added some pieces here late, made some changes in the off season, but still have a couple guys, you know, hanging around from from the last uh, year's team. Um, should be a great series, man. There, I know, I know it's a lot of talent on the floor on both teams, so it should be a great series. Can I just say one more thing too? I just wanted to congratulate Orlando on a great season and. And Cliff um, did a hell of a job, made a lot of adjustments in this series and, and uh, kept us really working. I think uh, with Jeff Weltman and John Hammond down there, um, they, got a, they got a really bright future. And would also like to congratulate Terrence Ross and DJ Augustine, a couple of our former players, on a, on a great season.